Well, that's a great question. Obviously, we don't want to start slow. That's not what we're trying to do, not our intentions. Um, you know, I thought uh, credit to Louisville. Um, you know, I thought they came in and played really hard. Uh, you know, for us, it just took us a minute to get settled into the physical play. Um, I thought after that, we did adjust um, in the second half, but that's too long. It took us too long to get settled in. Coach, uh, something of interest that Maddie said up there was you mentioned them after the game that you guys basically won or tied every single category except free throws. Um, what does that kind of teach you about your team from today's game? Well, we have toughness and fight, but at the end of the day, you have to have discipline. Um, you know, we, we made a run, um, but we put them on the free throw line too many times. So 39 free throws, they made 33 ball game. Um, you know, that's it. Just be more disciplined. Uh, defensively. Uh, Coach, you mentioned the physical play starting out. Is there anything on film that you saw preparing to take this game starting out? Well, anytime you're playing Power 5 conference, it's going to be a physical game. Um, and that's part of it, and that's what we like, the competition. Um, I thought we adjusted to it uh, down the stretch. Um, we just have to put four quarters together more uh, and be more consistent. What was the game plan going in to hold Louisville to one from 15 from the three point line? Well, you know, we just talked about locating shooters. Obviously, all three of their guards averaging double figures, scoring, um, you know, trying to play personnel defense, um, making sure we closed out on shooters. Thought we did a good job there. Um, you know, I thought we made a run, had some uh, good defensive stops uh, when we needed it, but at the end of the day, like I said, we fouled way too much. So we have to go back, uh, evaluate how we're calling it in practice, what we're calling in practice, um, and we'll learn from this game and continue to get better. Uh, Coach, I know you talked before about you playing under Coach Walls in AU. What's that like coaching against him now up there? Is it weird? Is it more fun for you? Uh, just what's that like? I love Coach Walls. I don't love Coach Walls when we're playing. I'm a competitor. We're trying to win. Um, you know, it's great to see him before the game. Obviously, he's had a lot of success. And um, I tell him we gave him his great start with the Kentucky Hustle. So he learned uh, from a great group of young ladies. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're competitors. Uh, you know, it's a rivalry game. We're trying to win. We came here to win. Obviously, very disappointed that we didn't. Um, and all you can do from here is learn, uh, grow, get ready for the next game. I remember the big picture. Where, where do you think your team's at? What, what do you like about what you got? Uh, what do I like about this team? Um, we have fight. We have heart. I love our versatility. Um, able to play different lineups. I thought our freshman came in, really gave us a punch off the bench uh, with Mimi Jenkins um, and Kennedy Cambridge. Um, Asia Petty, what she's able to do when we can keep her out of foul trouble, for us to be able to pound the ball inside and her finish consistently. We have the pieces. We have exactly what we need. Um, now it's just a matter of putting it together. SEC Women's Basketball Challenge. The Robert Smith, like you mentioned, Robert Smith, is looking like he's on the schedule. How important is that to just find, you know, space for the ACC, SEC Challenge somewhere else and not have this game potentially be moved around other place? Well, yeah, it, it's going to happen. The ACC, SEC Challenge. Obviously, Louisville's always on our schedule um, every year. Uh, it's a rivalry game, so it's here uh, to stay. It's a great game for the state of Kentucky. Um, the fans love to see it. We love to play in it. Um, so we'll be right back at it again this time next year. Tyler, obviously, your backcourt is playing really well, putting the points and defending. How do you feel like your front court play? Where is it at right now? I feel like that's kind of the experience you lost from last year's team. Well, then, again, I've mentioned Asia Petty. I think what she brings to us is different than what we have. Um, but Addie, um, 
You know, I think she brings us the energy rebounding. Naya is back from herself of bouncing around, getting offensive rebounds and finishing. Um, you know, we got to continue to work. Um, but at the end of the day, we talk about paint points. I thought we got some shots early in the paint. We shot away from some contact. So going up strong, finishing those. So um, across the board, we need to get to the paint and finish. Thank you. This game, this rivalry, is just as good a closest game as it would be in the national championship of any number. Thank you. It just sucks, period. Honestly, you know, you never want to lose any game, but especially the losing the rules, it just sucks. I think it would all be You talk about the loyal defensive pressure early in the game because you guys got behind so so early, could not get out of that hole until late. You showed signs of life, but what were they doing in that first quarter? Yeah, I mean, we scouted that they were going to play pressure, physical defense. I don't think we matched their physicality, and that showed over time. They showed us that. And, you know, we talked about that. We just need to play tougher. They were more gritty than us tonight, and I think that uh, showed. And, it was hard to come back from in the second half, so. You know, obviously, like you guys mentioned, you guys did kind of have a couple second half runs there, and especially at the end, it seemed like your pressure was effective. Were you guys worried about kind of putting on that kind of pressure early on from tiring out, or what made that change for you guys? I mean, once we realized we were down, we need to turn the heat out just to make some type of run to get back into the game. Um, as far as starting like that, that wasn't necessarily the game plan, but, you know, we were down, so we had to turn up. What were the adjustments you guys made in the second half to improve your score? Um, basically, um, turn up our defense more so we can get more transition points. I mean, that's where we are very good at. And um, basically, Coach Dozen, she drew up some plays for us to get some good opportunities at the basket. <laughs> So the Virginia Tech start was slow. Obviously, the slow day was slow. Is there any connection or rhyme or reason to these slow starts? Um, I don't think there's a connection. I think we just have to be locked in from the start of the game. It could be some dinner. It could be just you know, playing the rock for the first time for some people. It's just different. But I think those are fixable things. So I think we can look at that as a positive thing. We definitely don't want to be a second half team or anything like that. But um, we're definitely going to learn from that. And I think Moving forward, when we get into the big games, we'll eventually be able to push forward for this game. Just given the rivalry, the way it's done, playing Ingram, playing that forward, where would you all rather play this game in three years? Well, ladies, this is the holiday season. After losing this game, how eager are you to get back on the back of the Very eager. You know, I hate losing. Thank you. 